Good morning. Today is day 237. Can you believe I've been making videos for 237 days? <laughs> working my bottom, working from the bottom, going to the top. So I'm sitting here in traffic and just kind of daydreaming, thinking about what's, you know, what do I need to do? I need to get back on track with all of the online courses that I need to study to make money online. It's so funny because it takes a lot of concentration for me, a lot of writing, a lot of understanding how this whole thing works. And I, I learned this piece of puzzle, learned that piece of puzzle, learned this piece of puzzle, and then I finally put the puzzle pieces together. And then I completely fall apart because something goes wrong. I'm like, ah! Back to the drawing board. So I got a class tomorrow at 6 o'clock p.m. where they're going to help me put all of the puzzle pieces together. So I'll make a video of that. And I was going to um, leave my little one with my older daughter, but I think it's good that she comes with me because she can learn this too. I'm the type of person that needs human contact. I'm the type of person that needs a classroom environment where I'm around amongst the people because if I have questions, I need them answered right away. I can't talk to a video and say, hey, can you help me? Unless somebody's on the phone with me. And those people try to charge extra money. You know, you pay for these courses and then you, you find you need more courses to learn what they're trying to teach. And then when you want to go look for those courses, you got to pay for those courses. Now, some people say, like, oh, that's not fair. Why do we have to double pay? Well, I do believe it's fair because if somebody's putting out their time and teaching you something regardless, you know, it's time, money. That's how it works. Personally, me, I would try to give it away for free. But there is a guy there uh, that I ran into that does give out his courses for free, but he's very technically savvy. And when he speaks, it's all computer te technical verbiage and I just get so mad at him like what do you mean can you do it in layman's term I don't get it but I've learned how to learn their lingo and I'm trying to very hard to make this work for not just myself but for her so anyways I had to put everything on hold because school started. I had all of this stuff just fall on my lap all at once and I kind of juggled everything else and now my life is kind of calming down and I can get back on track. So don't think I stopped with the online courses. <laughs> I'm going to go right back at that. I'm actually prepared to go to Starbucks and sit at Starbucks for a little bit and just get on the computer and work my way around everything and see what I could do. But other than that, I am in traffic. See, look, I don't know if you guys can see. Look. I'm in traffic. And I don't mind it, actually. Oh, well. I just treat it as an adventure. And that's how you have to go about life. Stuff happens. You can either sit up there and boohoo and cry about it, which sometimes I do. But don't live there. Get back up on your feet, dust yourself off, and go right back at it. And you know how many times I fail on my face? A whole bunch of times. But I, as long as you learn from your falls, what did I do wrong here? What could I have done different? Kind of thinking process. Kind of write them down like, okay, maybe I should have went this way. You're going to fail, and that's okay. Just learn from your mistakes. And that's what will help you grow. And that's about it. You guys have a great day. All right? Day 237. 237 days. I can't believe it. <laughs> have a great day.